Ayan, hello, good morning. So, session 2 na tayo na ating math opportunity class. So, this is a recorded lesson. Ayan, so, let's start. Start na tayo. Ay, ayaw mag-next. Ayan. So, first... You're asked to determine the factors of C that when added will result to B. So, ito ay week 2 natin na discussion sa first quarter. So, we have to determine muna our A, B, and our C. So, to recall, ayan, for letter A, ito ang A natin dito. The numerical coefficient ni X, it's just 1. Pag wala kayong makikita, yun na yun. So, A is equal to 1. Your B is 4, and your C, ayan, it's negative 5. So, the sign of the term is the sign before it. Now, you're asked to find the factors of C. So, factors ni negative 5, ayan, nakapagka-i-add mo ay equal to positive 4. So, you would list down the possible or all the possible factors of negative 5. So, dahil negative siya, so, ang isa sa mga factors niya negative. So, let's try negative 1 times positive 5, pwede ding positive 5 times negative 1. So, try natin yan, alin dyan sa dalawa, na kapag kainad mo, ay equal to B. So, negative 1 plus 5, this is positive 4. O, nahanap na natin, positive 4 si B. So, we can try itong 5 plus negative 1, or, ah, sorry, dapat negative 5 yan positive 1 para magkaiba sila. So, negative 5 plus 1. Here, you would get negative 4. Ayan. So, ito yung hinahanap natin kasi yun yung B. So, therefore, ang factors ni negative 5 na kapag kay add mo equal to positive 4 ay, so, ang hinahanap natin dito would be itong negative 1 and positive 5. So, yung factors na yan yung hinahanap natin. Ayan, let's go to the next example. Next example tayo. Um, letter B, x squared minus 5x plus 6. So, dito yung A natin. Ulit, it's 1. Ayan. Yung B natin, ayan, si negative 5. Ito naman yung ating C. So, hanapan natin ng factor si C. So, factors ni 6 na kapag kainad mo, equal to negative 5. So, automatic, pwede natin isama dito ay positive 3. Ayan. Positive 3. Kasi positive 6 eh. So, positive 3 times positive 2. Okay, you can also try parehong negative. Kasi pag parehong negative, when you multiply, magiging positive. You can also actually try 6 times 1 or negative 6 times negative 1. Ayan. Pero hindi na kasha dito sa itong dalawa na lang. Kasi nandito na sa kanila yung sagot. So, 3 plus 2. This is equal to positive 5. Ang kailangan natin ay negative 5. So, let's try negative 3 plus negative 2 or negative 3 minus 2. This would give us negative 5. So, ito yung hinahanap natin. Therefore, ang factors na um, gagamitin natin dito ay negative 3 and negative 2. Ayan. So, kaya natin ginagawa to para ma-factor natin itong mga trinomials. Like for letter A, dahil nahanap natin yung factors ni negative 5 na pag inad equal sa middle term na numerical coefficient, we can factor this as x minus 1 times x plus 5. So, yung negative 1 mo, tsaka positive 5, yun yung factors ni C na nahanap natin. So, for letter B, you can factor this as x minus 3 times x minus 2. Ayan. Of course, for letter C, ayan, ang B mo ay negative 2, ang C mo ay positive 1. So, factors ni positive 1 na pag in mo equal to negative 2, so, ibig sabihin, halos katulad sa letter B siya, parehong negative to. 
Okay? Para ang negative, para may pag-add natin. So, negative 1 times negative 1. Negative times negative is positive. Dahil negative ang middle term niya, niya kaya tayo may clue na parehong negative dapat yung factors na gamitin. Okay? So, to check, negative 1 plus negative 1 is equal to negative 2. Ayan, equal siya sa D. So, itong part na to, this can now be factored as M minus 1 times M minus 1 or M minus 1 squared. So, may special na tawag kay C. Ang tawag sa trinomial na to ay perfect square trinomial. So, bakit perfect square trinomial? Ayan no, parehas yung factors na nakuha nyo. Parehas sila. So, you can write it um, as M minus 1 quantity squared. Let's go to the next slide. What is the value of AC for each of the given trinomials? So, inahanap lang yung AC. So, therefore, determine nyo muna yung A, B, and C mo. Itong 2 is your A. Ayan, positive 7 is your B. And negative 4 is your C. Therefore, ang AC dito ay 2 times negative 4. Ayan, ganun lang siya class. So, that is negative 8. Okay, letter B naman, ito, yung A mo dito ay 1. So, 1 times yung C mo ay 2. So, ang AC mo dito ay 1 times 2, that is just positive 2. And then, for number 3, yung A mo ay 3, yung C mo ay negative 1. So, AC mo dito ay 3 times negative 1, you get negative 3. Next slide. What should be the term on each blank so that the given polynomial is a perfect square trinomial? So, recall tayo ha. So, perfect square trinomial, ang middle term nyo, etong nasa gitna. Ayan, yung middle term nyo, eto dapat ay, lalagay natin ha. Nakalagay dyan ay twice the product of the square roots square roots of the first and last terms. Ayan. So, kailangan natin gawin dito is, sundan natin tong twice. So, that twice means two times. So, two times, ayan, the square roots of the first and last terms. So, Square root of x squared is just x. Square root of 1 is 1. So, lalagay natin itong mga square roots niya dito. Times x times 1. So, 2 times x times 1 would be 2x. So, lalagay natin dito ay 2x. We do the same pattern dito sa um, let number 2. So, twice na may 2 lagi yan. Kasi twice the product of the square root. So, kuhanin natin ang square root ni 9a raised to 4. So, square root of 9 is 3. Yung a raised to 4 mo, yung exponent na 4, divide by 2 mo lang yun. Okay? So, 4 divided by 2 is just 2. So, a squared na lang yan. And then, kuhanin din ang square root ng last term. Square root of 4 is 2. Square root of b squared, so yung squared mo dyan, divide by 2 lang, b na lang yan. b raised to 1. Then, yung pag-multiply nyo lang. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. Kopyahin mo lang yung variables kasi magkaiba naman sila. So, hindi mo sila may pagsama, may pag-isa. Okay? And the next here, we have, ayan, 16. So, Lagay mo natin yung 2 kasi twice the product ang ating um, pattern to get the middle term. So, 2. Constant yung 2 natin. Get the square root of 16. X raised to 6. Square root of 16 is 4. Copy X. Yung exponent yan na 6. Divide by 2 nyo lang. Okay? So, here you would get um, 4X raised to 3. And then, of course, si 1. Ayan, square root of 1 is 1. Lagay nyo lang dyan. 2 times 4 is 8. Copy x cube times 1. Ganun pa din naman siya. 
So, lagay na natin dito ang mga middle terms. 12a squared b. Ayan. And then, yung huli ay 8x cubed. Ayan siya. Next. Ayan, we have here. Determine the given polynomial. Determine if the given polynomial is a perfect square trinomial. So, check natin kung perfect square trinomial siya or PST in short. So, to check, tingnan natin yung first and last terms niya. So, itong dapat perfect squares to. Ayan. Ah, nakita na natin dito may negative yung, yung last term. So, pag negative, automatic hindi na siya perfect square. Hindi pwede maging negative yung last term. Kaya pwede na maging negative yung middle term. So, ito ay not a perfect square trinomial. Next naman, ito, check natin. So, positive, parang positive, perfect squares. Okay, this can be factored as x times x. Ito can be factored as 2 times 2. So, check natin yung middle term. Dapat twice the product of the square root of the first term times the square root of the last term. So, 4x nga. So, therefore... PS dito. Okay? Yes. And then, letter C. Tingnan natin. Let's check this. Okay? Um, pwede. Middle term yung negative. So, kuhanin natin ang square root ni 9m raised to 6. That would be 3m cube. Square root of 1 is 1. So, ang middle term twice. Ito, dapat equal siya dito. Twice the product of the square root of the first term times the square root of the last term. So, you would get here 6m cubed. Tama. So, this is actually a PST also. Perfect square trinomial. Next, what are the factors of the trinomial below? So, itong trinomials natin below, ang papansin nyo, ayan, ito yung dalawang to. So, they are perfect square trinomials. Na-prove na nating perfect square trinomials sila. So, to factor them, you just actually, because they are perfect square trinomials, ang factors nila class, uh, you just simply have to get the square root of the first term, the square root of the last term, and you write it as a binomial, and you square. Square lang natin sila. Of course, yung operation ng binomial depends on the middle term. Yan. So, square root of x squared is x. Square root of 4 is 2. Yung middle term plus. So, yan ang ating factors. x plus 2 quantity squared. Ito naman, ganun din. We get the square root of 9m raised to 6. Nakuha na natin kanina. This is 3m cube. Right? Pwede natin balikan actually. Ayan o. Oh. 3m cube. And then, square root of 1 is 1. So, 3m cubed and 1. And ang gagamitin natin na operation niya ay yung nasa middle term. And so, this would be our... Sorry, hindi ko pala na ano to na-edit. Hindi ko siya na-edit class, no? Squared. Ito dapat ay 6m cube. Hindi ko siya na-edit. Ayan, ito, 6m cube siya dito. But here, hindi ko siya na-edit. Ayan, 6m cube. Ayan, sorry for that. Okay, so let's now go to the next slide. Practice exercises. So, ito class ay um, pakilagay lang ng sagot sa ating chat box. And I will give you two minutes or one minute for every slide. Okay, one minute for every slide. So, for this slide, what is the value of AC in the given polynomial below? Ayan, 3x squared minus 5 plus 2. So, ito yung A mo, ito yung C. Pag multiply mo lang, ayan, hanapin mo dyan yung sagot. Lagay po sa chat box. Ayan, I will wait.
Next number, what are the factors of AC in the polynomial 3x squared minus 5x plus 2 that will result to be when added? Ayan, so ang ating um, AC dito, AC natin plus would be, ito si A, right? Ito si C. So, pag multiply nyo lang yan, 3 times 2, ayan, is equal to 6. Hanapin nyo daw yung factors ni 6 na kapag i-add mo, i equal to negative 5. Kasi negative 5 yung B. So, ang gagawin nyo dyan, class, dahil may choices naman, pwedeng yung choices ang ipag-add nyo. So, try nyo i-add to. Add nyo yan. O, alin dyan yung ang result ay negative 5. Yan ang inyong sasagot. Yan ang inyong pipiliin. Ayan. So, ayan, pag parehas na sign, you just have to copy the sign and add. Okay, so may hint na kayo dyan. Put your answers on the chat box. Okay, last 10 seconds. Answers in the chat box. This is a recorded session, so lahat ng answers nyo ay record yan. Okay, next slide. Which of the following is a perfect square trinomial? So, ang kailangan yung tingnan dito is first trinomial siya. Ayan, trinomial, tatlong terms. Tingnan nyo dyan, saan yung tatlong terms? Ayan, dun sa tatlong terms, check nyo yung first term niya. Yung first term, dapat perfect square. Yung last term, dapat perfect square. Tapos yung middle term niya, dapat ay twice the product of the square roots of the first and the last terms. So, tulad ng ginawa natin kanina sa discussion na part, so, check nyo yung middle term kung pasado ba as twice the product of the first and the last terms. Pero, class una, titingnan nyo muna kong trinomial. So, sa trinomial, tanggal na to, binomial lang to. And then, per tingnan nyo kung perfect square yung first and last terms. etong 3, not a perfect square. So, tanggal na to. Ayan. Tingnan yung first and last terms. So, last terms, ayan, makikita nyo, ito 2, not a perfect square. Ayan. So, by elimination, you would know now kung ano yung sagot. Ayan, may hint na kayo, ha? Lagay sa chat box. Okay, next slide. Uy, bakit number 5 na agad to? Sorry. Ah, number 4 pa dapat yan. What should be the term in the blank such that the polynomial will be a perfect square trinomial? Ano daw ang dapat nandito? Ayan. So, ang dapat nandiyan class ay twice the product of the square root of the first term Ayan, x yan. And the square root of the last term, 
history. So, lagay nyo. Ayan. Ano dapat yan? Tingnan nyo sa choices. Kung ano ang sagot nyo dyan. This is number 4 pa pala. Twenty seconds. Okay, next item. And what must be the expression on the blank below so that the given mathematical statement is true? O dito naman class, ito ay uh, perfect square trinomial kasi yung factor niya ay ano may squared. So ang gagawin niyo class, dahil binigay naman yung factor niya, para malaman niyo yung middle term, ito, ang gagawin niyo, etong sa ating factors, you're just going to multiply that, yung 2x tsaka 3 tapos dodoblihin nyo times 2. So, this would become 2 times 2, 4 times 3, that's 12 copy x. So, dapat ayan, kita nyo na kung ano yung sagot dyan. Hanapin nyo kung letter yan. Nilagay ko na eh. No? Nilagay ko na yung sagot. Kanyari, burahin natin. Hindi nyo nakita. Okay na. So, check tayo. Mabilis ang pag-check lang. Balikan natin. Number 1, what is the value of AC in the given polynomial? So, yung AC natin dito, 3 times 2, 6. So, 6 is the correct answer. Yan, pakitandaan kasi sa asynchronous yung task, ganito lang din yung uh, 5 items na ibibigay, katulad lang nito. Next, what are the factors of AC in the polynomial 3x squared minus 5x plus 2 that will result to B when added? So, anong factors ni AC? Ang AC natin ay 6. So, ang factors niya na pag in mo negative 5 ay negative 1 and negative 5. Tama ba? No, negative 1. Mali ako. Negative 1 plus 6. Hindi. Sorry, class. Ah. Dapat ito ay negative 3 and negative 2. Nalito ako dun ha. Okay, neg kasi negative 3 plus negative 2 equals negative 5. Kasi kung negative 6 ang gamitin natin, negative 1, negative 7 to. Kung negative 6 naman and positive 1, negative 5, pero pag minultiply mo negative 6, so hindi pwede yan kasi positive 6 yung ating um, hinahanapan ng factor. So, ang pwede lang talaga, ang dalawang options ay ito. But pag in mo, yan yung kinalalabasan, ito yung hinahanap natin. Therefore, ang sagot natin for this is negative 3 and negative 2. Ito, letter C. Okay, ito ay number 3. Ba't di ko nabago yung items nito? Okay. Which of the following is a perfect square trinomial? Yan. Na-eliminate na natin to. So, na sorry. Na-eliminate na rin natin to. Natitira is this. So, kaya ito eliminated kasi not a perfect square. Ito naman, not a perfect square din. Not a perfect square. Ito naman, not a trinomial. <laughs> Hindi siya trinomial. Hinahanap kasi natin yung perfect square trinomial. So, ito lang yung ating sagot. Number 4, what should be the term in the blank such that the polynomial would be a perfect square trinomial? So, pag multiply mo lang yan, yan square root of first term, square root of last term times 2, that would be 6x. So, letter B. And then, last, nilagay ko na ang sagot dito kanina. Ayan. Letter B din siya. Okay, so that um, concludes our session for today.
Now, kung hindi nyo pa nasagutan yung unang asynchronous task na nilagay ko yesterday ata sa ating classroom ng Math Opportunity Class, so pakisagutan na po, sagutan nyo na po, puntahan nyo na po ngayon ang classroom dahil may mga may remaining minutes pa naman tayo sa ating time. So, yun na muna ang gagawin nyo. So, mag-leave kayo mamaya ang alas 11, 11 pa. So, make sure gawin nyo muna yung asynchronous task na nasa G Classroom natin. Okay?